Folks, it's Big Papa here with the PPW 136 results. Let's see how fast I can burn through these bad boys and still be compelling. First off, the first match of the night was the PPW's training facility standout student right now, slamming Skip McKenzie, testing his skills against Matt Vine. Great matchup, lasted about 10 to 12 minutes. Back and forth, the kid made a strong showing, and of course, as you would predict, Matt Vine with the win in that one via the Spine Buster, or what he likes to call the Vine Buster. Match number two was that big triple threat matchup between Ronnie Metro, Irish Andy Anderson, and the little engine that could toot toot Scott Colton for the number one contendership match. That matchup went every second of 30 minutes, and unfortunately at the 30 minute mark, there was no winner. The Dirty Boys were ashamed and embarrassed that they couldn't beat a kid that small and that young, so they thought they had to jump him after the matchup. They jumped him only for so long before one angry Arab came out from the back, the Persian powerhouse, and saved Colton, and decided that he was there for the night to work, and he wanted to team up with Colton after a brief intermission against the Dirty Boys Club, or two-thirds of it. Then we saw a great big tag matchup. It was another one that lasted every bit of 30 minutes, and it was back and forth and forth and back, and tit for tat. Spitting ass was flying everywhere, and it looked like Colton and uh, the, the Persian powerhouse had the win, only to find out that the other third of the Dirty Boys Club, Chase Gosling, had came out with the brass knucks and nailed his own guy, Ronnie Metro. When Scott Colton went for the cover, Chase slides in the knucks after a pitch from Ronnie, I'm sorry, a pitch from Andy and Gosling. The, Decision was our boys lost by disqualification and headed out of there as fast as their little asses could carry them with Ronnie actually over oh, oh shoulder. Next matchup was a newcomer and a PPW training standout, Ham and Egger taking on the crafty veteran Texas Pete. Am I right? In this matchup, Ham and Eggers put up a hell of a fight, had a strong showing. There was no shame in that loss when Texas Pete beat him with, I can't even remember what, that's how anticlimactic that one was. But it was a great match nonetheless. This brings us to the PPW World Heavyweight Title Matchup, that big, heavily anticipated match between the world exclusive Matt Vine and current PPW world champion Chase Gosling, who, by the way, did win that belt in a four-way matchup and did not pin Matt Vine since that day that Chase, pardon the pun, has been on. What a great matchup. Seen a lot of new moves and a lot of fury and fire. This thing just keeps building and building and building. And pretty soon this whole building is going to catch on fire when Matt Vine actually got the win tonight via count out over Chase Gosling. That brings us into this week at PPW 137 Saturday in Woodstock. Matt Vine automatically advances and remains the number one contender. He will face Chase Gosling this Saturday night. Vine vows if he can't pin him to the mat for the three count, he's going to retire. And then that big tag team matchup when the challenge was thrown out from the little engine that could. Doo, doo, Scott Colton with a rever returning Anestra. They're going to team up and they're going to face Irish Andy Anderson again and our PPW World Heavyweight Champion, who I think is spreading himself too thin, who says he doesn't have a care in the world, Chase Gosling. This Saturday night in Woodstock, peace out, peace on you, peace on your old bald head.